So we're back at it today doing a few bits. On one of my last updates, I snapped the stud on this, trying to undo the nut to uh, change that little arm. Um, left hand drive only, no aftermarket option available, but a massive thank you to Gary over at Cool Campers for getting me a replacement saw to that. I only paid for this yesterday and I received it in the post today and I've already changed that little arm because they wear out quite a bit. So we've got a fresh new little arm on there. I'm going to throw this straight on. I managed to get my new calipers on. I slid on the new discs. I've also got a new grease cap to go on for the speedo end. I did, however, forget to fit this little fella. This is a bracket for the brake hose. It sits just where the nut attaches to the uh, upper bore joint. So I've just got to rip that off and uh, get that back on. Every day is a school day. So there's the new clutch cable, my new clutch lever, all ready to go in. So frustratingly, I cannot fit the pads onto the calipers. Being as the seller only sent me two backing plates. So first of all, I ordered this uh, brake conversion and it didn't come with a pad fitting kit at all. Now, they've kindly sent out the pad fitting kit. Unfortunately, I'm missing two of these um, anti-squirrel plates. And what are these tabs? I don't get which way around they're supposed to go. So at this point, I'm calling it a day. I've fitted drop spindles and I've now got the issue of the brake pipe not going to sit into the caliper if it's in its mounting bracket. Any ideas on that one, guys? That's a wrap for today.